Thanks everybody for joining me tonight. Tonight I'm gonna be talking briefly about money, about something that's so sensitive. This money is called uh, Bitcoin. It's a cryptocurrency that's been sold online. So in 2008, uh, Satoshi Nakamoto, this guy who developed Bitcoin, and uh, he was an ingenious guy, but he's anonymous. No one has ever met him. But in 2008, uh, that it was August of 2008 when he first wrote the paper about uh, Bitcoin and he submitted through a uh, cryptocurrency mailing list. So when this guy um, sent, uh, created the first website, uh, uh, Bitcoin.org, in the same year, August of the same year, that was the first time Bitcoin was registered. And Bitcoin was almost worth nothing. It was worth about zero, zero dollars or zero cents of a dollar from 2008 to 2009 even 2010 when Bitcoin was only worth about 36 cents and guess what when I checked um, Bitcoin tonight about six hours ago Bitcoin was worth eight thousand and four dollars eight thousand and four dollars from um, this year the beginning of this year Bitcoin was worth uh, the first Bitcoin, the second, uh, the third Bitcoin I bought was in January of this year, late January. I think I believe it was around 26th of January. It was worth $950. It has dropped to $900 from around $1,200. So I first bought the uh, I bought the Bitcoin for $950, and by March it has risen to about $1,500. By uh, mid-April, it was around two thousand dollars, and when I sold it f uh, for the second time in May, it was around uh, around almost two thousand five hundred dollars. But from then, May, it shoot about two hundred percent from May to June, rising from about uh, two thousand two hundred to three thousand five hundred dollars by the end of June, beginning of July. And it's been rising. It's been rising for more than uh, three hundred percent. So, like, look at it this way: from May, from January, when it was only nine hundred dollars, nine hundred and fifty dollars, to uh, November, when it's worth eight thousand dollars. Look at that difference. If you had bought that Bitcoin for only nine hundred and fifty dollars, you would be worth eight thousand, uh, seven thousand dollars extra as of now, as we talk. I know of a friend who bought Bitcoin for around uh, during the, uh, the period of 2014, when Bitcoin was around 100 and uh, between 196 to 220 dollars, and he's worth more than. By the time I talked to him late last year, he was worth about 32,000 uh, dollars. But I'm I'm sure right now when Bitcoin is 8,000 dollars, that is about quadruple. He's worth more than 100,000 dollars, and he only bought. Bitcoin in 2014 for about $2,000, now it's worth more than $100,000. So it's worth investing. It's simple. I'm gonna show you, the, I'm gonna share the link uh, and the, uh, here on my uh, description on my YouTube account and my Facebook account so that you can follow. You can download the app and you can even buy as little as, you don't have to buy the old Bitcoin. You can all buy as little as 10 shillings, I mean $10, 10 cents, whatever you can afford. And look, I heard about some few cents uh, in my Bitcoin about a month ago. Right now, it from about 30 cents, it's worth about $9 right now. So I'm talking about this because um, if you're going to use a, 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 a platform called Coinbase, this is a company based in San Francisco. It has more than one Bitcoin, uh, more than one cryptocurrency. It has Bitcoin, Ethereum, and it has a uh, Litecoin. And you see, um, beginning of this year, uh, like, um, Ethereum was worth around, was it around nine dollars, and it's worth around three hundred and fifty dollars right now as we talk. It's not even uh, the end of the year; it's November, and by the end of the year, it's gonna hit around four hundred dollars. When the Bitcoin will hit around twelve thousand dollars, I'm, I think so, because if you look at it, Bitcoin was worth around. Five thousand dollars, but five days ago, it's eight thousand dollars. In a week, it has spent three thousand dollars increment. Look, this is the right moment to invest. 
and this the, the good thing about this money a lot of government a lot of companies a lot of uh, franchises are accepting the uh, payment of bitcoins in terms of bitcoins there's a lot of countries that are coming up with atm machines that are they accept bitcoin you can change your bitcoin into cash dollars depending on where you, where you live or where you reside and soon everybody's gonna accept in uh, bitcoin when when it started uh, when the first time when bitcoin was accepted was by wikileaks and another company i don't remember the name from canada that was the first uh, company that uh, that that came up with the first uh, bitcoin atm machine and this uh barclays bank from uh, i think i believe it was uh, uk when they first came up with uh, the, the the acceptance and the acceptance of bitcoin in their in their um, uh, circulation and another i know of not of university i don't i don't remember it was uh from here in um from here or from canada that uh first accepted their tuition payment through bitcoin about three years ago so you see bitcoin with my prediction is gonna be worth more than forty thousand dollars before at the end of 2020 trust me this is the right moment to invest I'm just gonna tell you, share this information. If you're interested, look look up for Bitcoin or the application on on your Android phone or your phone, iPhone, whatever phone you have. Just Google or search uh, Coinbase. That's where you're gonna download the application where you can. That's a platform that you can buy Bitcoin. You can link uh, your bank account to that uh, application. Then you can download and then. Um, you can buy bitcoin from there and then you can sell you can always you can start with as little as one dollar and you can monitor that's how i started and the another thing that i want to talk about is uh it's not guaranteed the safety of bitcoin is not guaranteed it can be hard it has its ups and downs just like any other bank but uh to put it in a perspective that most of the people will understand if you give your bank ten thousand dollars for um uh, uh, to, to keep it for you You'll get your ten thousand dollars back, right, after a year. But if you put, if you risk and put ten thousand dollars in Bitcoin, I'm sure you'll get about another ten thousand dollars in about a year or a year and a half. Trust me, trust me. I've seen that. I've I've mingled with it, uh, Bitcoin, and it has given me some feedback, some positive feedbacks that I wouldn't have gotten from the bank. Thanks for watching tonight, and I'm um, sorry I've taken more a uh, minute of your time. Thank you.